Hey what's up guys and welcome to another old school episode and I'm going to start this one by actually getting the dark light which is from Shadow of the Storm quest because I have three dark totems in my bank to kill Scottizo or whatever he's called and the dark light is extremely important for that. So I'm going to get the dark light real quick here and I need to complete Demon Slayer first so I've done that and I need to do the golem quest now and then I can do Shadow of the Storm. And that is the golem quest completed, 1k crafting, 1k thieving, probably no levels for that, but that is all the requirements for Shadow of the Storm, so let's do that now and get the dark light. And that's the Shadow of the Storm completed, and I now have dark light, and I don't know, does it have charges now already, or do I have to do something else with it? I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to look this up, but uh, I think you just use the ancient charge on it or something, and then it will go- Oh no, wait! You need the arc light! I don't know how you get the arc light actually, give me a sec. Alright, so all you had to do was get three ancient shards and use it with the arc light on the altar right here in the catacombs. And I had five, so I still have two left and that is 1000 charges on the arc light. So now I can actually try to do those three Skittoso kills and uh, I will obviously show you guys the loot. Alright, that is the first kill, let's see what the loot is going to be. Uh, I had to use a lot of food for that, but my gear is not really that great for it, but... Alright, rune play body, three of them, and how many ancient shard? I guess just one, that's pretty bad, but that is a hard clue. I'll do the hard clue if I can, and if not, I'll just get back to you guys with the next loot. It was very easy to complete, let's open it in the wilderness, and hopefully if I get third age, I don't get pk let's see what we get. That is 116k, Sardomi full helm, yeah, not worth that much. Quite a lot cleaner kill this time actually, still have quite a lot of food, and uh, let's get another hard clue and hopefully something good as a drop. And the drop is <laughs> Rune Plate Skirt, and three Ancient Shards this time, that is really good, but let's do the clue scroll. Now that's unfortunate, I have to do the, I think it's Legends Quest or Heroes Quest to be able to get into this area, and that's just way too far away for me, so I'm gonna have to drop this one. Okay, last kill, here we go, let's see what the drop is going to be. Soul runes, how many? 66k worth, that's actually quite a lot. But not as good as the other drops that I got, so... Also only one ancient charge, so yeah, this was probably the worst drop I got so far. But anyways, hopefully we can do this clue scroll. Let's see what the first one is. Yeah, I can do this. Let's see what the last clue from Scott is always going to give us, so let's open it and see what we get. How much is this worth? 103k, yeah, that's pretty bad, but hey, it's like... A lot of alkybos. If I was an Iron Man, that would have been very good, but hey, it's just mediocre for now. I didn't even know I was about to hit 83 strength, but there we go. And did I get? Yes, I got a combat level 102. Nice. Since I've been able to kill these brutal black dragons, I have started loving black dragon tasks. They are so fast, like 10 kills I got or something, and I just get so much profit from these every single time. 133k dragon dart tip. That is. So good money. I'm actually on my first Kurask task ever and the profits from these are really nice but I got a superior creature so let's see if uh, we can get an imbued heart from this if it can die. There we go. 2.7k experience and flax as a drop and a mithril kite shield. Yeah that's pretty bad. <laughs> So I usually skip Cal fights, but I really want to try Cal fight Queen and I'm waiting for my friend to get a Cal fight task as well who is like level 93 combat or something with like 75 combat stats or something and he's never done Cal fight Queen and I've never done Cal fight Queen and I got a task now for Cal fights so everything is like perfect so we're going to try to do it I'm not sure when but I'm going to save this task for now and I'll do something else for now until he gets a Cal fight task but then it's going to be pretty interesting to try that boss and hopefully we can get some kills. So what I'm going to do until my friend gets a Calfi task is agility because it is a pain in the ass to have 56 and not be able to use any of the shortcuts. So I'm going to put a counter up here and I'm going to start doing some agility and I'll get back to you guys when uh, my friend gets a Calfi task and I can actually do Calfi Queen for a bit. I don't know how much more agility I'm going to be able to do but I've gained 85,000 experience and he still doesn't have a Calfi task. He's doing Slayer all the time and he just hasn't been able to get it but I'm going to get 60 agility here and now I can go to the Sears village and do that course instead. Okay, so finally my friend got a Calfi task and this is going to be the gear I'm going to use for this. It's pretty bad, I mean it's a pretty welfare setup for the Calfi queen and I've never done it before so it's going to be very interesting to see if we can get one, two, three or how many kills per trip we can get. 
I'm going to be happy if we can get like three kills per trip, but I think that's pretty unrealistic because soloing the boss is like one kill per trip with really, really, really good gear. So anyways, I'm going to have the switch to the god dehyde body and then the blowpipe. And I mean, it will help a lot that we're both on a slayer assignment, so maybe we can get one extra kill per trip because of that. I don't know. And the overall inventory I have is these things. So anyways, I'm going to get back to you guys with some uh, cowfight queen clips. Oh my god, come here, han fan är är två pick kvar. Nej, så där nej, där där där. Okej, nu får vi se vad jag får för någonting. 100 grapes. <laughs> Och två sharks. Okej, okay. en kill per trip, easy clap. <laughs> nice. Drop. Åh, oh, Magic Log, 70 kvadrat drop. Bossen dog förresten, jag ska bara... Sara Dombro... Åh, oh, Grimey 12 flags, 25 stycken. Vi kan bara TP ut och sen fortsätta killen sen. Åh, oh, Monkfish på Bucket of Sand, what the fuck, inte värt någonting. Ej, två Sharks, vänta, vänta, vänta. Alltså, vad? Kan han kylla? Hon. Oh. Cruise scroll. <laughs> Poke champ. Nice suit. Coins. <laughs> Dark crab. <laughs> okay, nice. Blood rune och två sharks. Okej. Okay. Ta väl loot. Okej. Okay. Okej. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Rambo Catfight Queen. Okej. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Okej, okay, nu TP är från faktiskt. Well, that is going to do it for the Calfight Queen. We did seven kills in total, and I'm going to tell you that was not worth it. We got a total loot of like 170k or something, and we spent way more than that on supplies. And we are just a bit too low combat, you could say. He is 93, he has very good gear, but uh, yeah, together we took a lot of damage, and we could do like one and a half kill per trip or something like that. Not really worth it right now, but it was a fun thing to do anyways, but I'm going to finish my task on normal cal fights. So I was just walking to my task and I noticed 46 experience to 81 defense. I'm just going to kill this knight and we will actually get it. One more hit, please. There we go. 81 defense, no combat level for that though, but yeah, halfway to 103 from 102. Also, I'm pretty close to 84 strength, which is pretty nice, and 82 attack. So a lot of these, uh, I'm probably going to get a combat level from 84 strength and 82 attack. And I also hit 86 hit points actually pretty recently, but I missed that level unfortunately. Also very close to 79 slayers, so a lot of levels coming up soon. Okay, I'm sorry I suck at recording when I get these levels, but I got 84 strength on my last Calfight task, and I now have Wyrms, I have 157, always really good task, and actually last Wyrm task I did, I get these, which was worth like 200k, so that was very nice. And um, I am very close to 103 combat, so in 12,000 experience in attack, I'm going to get that. Okay, finally I'm actually recording when I get a level, there we go, 82 attack and 103 combat. Nice. Oh, but then straight after I almost missed 79 Slayer. That's a pretty huge one. And the next level is a huge milestone. 80 Slayer is massive. And that is going to be Necreals as well in the next level. I really want to get that. Unfortunately, I was actually playing on my phone for a bit, so I couldn't record, but I got a Dragon Harpoon drop, which is worth half a mil. That is pretty nice. I mean, I've got quite a few of these really rare drops from these worms. I mean, I've got the bat or throw axes, the throwing knives, the harpoon. I've got pretty much all of them twice, I think. So I've got six overall of the really rare loots. And they are supposed to be one in 2,000 on task. I guess there are like 
four of them or five different ones you can get a long sword as well maybe something else as well so i guess the chance of getting something is like one in 500 or one in 400 something but uh, it seems kind of weird either i'm very very lucky or those stats are not correct Alright, so finally I have all the money that I need to get 70 prayer for piety and I also have a Dagonoth task and I have just done the Fremenic trials, which means I have a pet rock, which means I can get to Dagonoth kings on my own. That is going to be very nice, so I'm going to get piety and then after that I'm going to get into Dagonoth kings. I've never done Dagonoth kings on OSRS, so it's going to be very interesting to try it, but why I have piety? It's because of this. I needed about 4 million to be able to buy all the dragon bones to get from 61 prayer that I am right now all the way to 70. So I'm going to sell this layer tab and then get 70 prayer with the bones. That should be all the bones I need. Beautiful 3.8 million and I'll get back to you guys when I am 70 prayer all the way from 61. I was like 90 experience off but I got <laughs> some of these bones off of guards outside and this is going to be 70 prayer and my combat level is also going to be 104. So I gained like one and a half I think from, from that but now I'm 70 and I can use piety. So I've never done Dagonoth Kings before and this is going to be my setup. I'm going to actually save spot Rex. I'm not going to do all the three. The Rex one drops the Berserker Ring anyways, which is like the most valuable one. Maybe the Archer's Ring is a bit more valuable, I'm not sure. But anyways, it's a chance of getting a very good drop. And uh, yeah, this is my setup. I'm going to have the Guthan set, which I bought by selling my whip. I didn't have more than like a million cash and the set was 3.3 mil, but if it doesn't work that well or after my task, I can just sell it back anyway, so it's not a big deal. Alright, so I'm now in a good spot to save spot Rex and hopefully I can be here for quite a while. I will, uh, is this the timer to when the boss is going to spawn? That is so nice to have, holy. Yeah, that's actually the greatest thing I've ever seen, but anyways, yeah, I'll get back to you guys if I get any interesting drop. Okay, after three kills I get a rock shell plate. I mean, I think it's one of the rare drops you can get. How does it look even? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look that bad actually. It's pretty cool, but yeah, it's only worth like 40k, but hey, it's a drop. Okay, so it's not a drop, but I'm about to get 80 magic. There we go. Now all my combat stats except prayer is 80. And I've done 21 kills so far and no drop so far. But that is obviously expected. The rings is not 1 in 21 really. Hey, rock shell legs, I mean, at least it's something, it's like 38k worth. Oh, after 77 kills I get my first drop, unfortunately, it's a warrior's ring, which is only 63k compared to like a 3 million berserker ring, but hey, at least it's a drop. So as I was soloing Rex, I realized I didn't really need piety for that, but regardless, it was very good that I got it. It's just great for Slayer in general. So no regrets there, really. I wanted to get it anyways, but I got 82 kill count and then I accidentally aggroed another Dagonoth King. So I'm just going to end the trip here and be happy with what I've done. Oh, raw lobster. Nice. -er. Huge drop. But anyways, uh, that is going to do it for the video. I'm going to finish the task on normal Dagonoths. I'm probably going to do it by just banking first and getting back here because this Guthan gear is uh, not that great because I can't have the Slayer helmet with it. But anyways, I'll get back to you guys in the next video whenever that is coming out and I hope you guys did enjoy this one and take care.